El Sal's is a rural community about 15 miles north of Rio Grande City. It's a type of quiet place where even if residents move away, they always find their way back. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Call Me Gente. El Sal's is primarily a ranching community. In the early 1940s, its population was about 20 people. Today, Farm to Market Road 649 runs through the middle. A Catholic church, Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe, is at the center. And once a year, this big space <laughs> is overrun with people. Empezamos con una oración. Nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. It's the annual El Sao's Cactus Country Festival. In the early 1990s, the population here was about 80 people. The festival increases that by over 100 fold. People who live here will tell you there's something about this area. Even people who move away, they will always come back. We actually grew up here. Well, we're taking after our, our grandparents and our great-grandparents, so we like to keep the tradition. Uh, we love this community. At one time, El Sao's had a couple of gas stations, which also served as general stores. They offered anything and everything you might need. It's rare for the ranch land here to be offered for sale. Normally, they're passed on from one generation to another. Very tight-knit community, and we just love it. We come over here every year, and people from all over the place that have roots here. Many do have roots here. They come back from different parts of Texas and some from out of state. The lure of the annual cook-off is their excuse to come back. They've got a committee, committee that I guess holds about uh, I want to say 15 people that usually take care of all the premises and, and put everything together. From the Bible. Unfortunately, this year there's also a tribute to two who have died, Jorge Villarreal and Fidencio Guerra Sr. For those who grew up in El Saos, this is a special place. My mother is somewhere around here. And my dad just passed away four years ago. And actually they grew up here in El Saos. There's just something about El Saos in Stark County. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Con Mijan.